over there and welcome to our new home. Come on in. Melakaliki Maka, by the way. And also, happy Hanukkah. I want to start out by uh, giving Alison Rudnick some love. I was so envious of her menorah, even though I'm not Jewish, that she bought one for me to enjoy at the holidays. So thank you, Alison Rudnick. So please come in and I'm going to show you the place and then some fun, weird little things that I have collected a over the years. And we're going to start with this clock. Uh, my mom was a young woman in Toronto in the late 1960s and she went to this Italian restaurant, it was on the wall, and she said to the owner, oh, I love that clock. And you ripped it off the wall and gave it to her. And I love the idea of my mom just wandering the streets of Toronto with this clock under her arm. So we're gonna stay up on this above level, and I'm gonna show you some things if we come this way. So this right here is my ode to New Orleans. One of the cool things about living in New Orleans is that people, whether they live in a huge home or an apartment, uh, will often have an altar. It could be on a TV tray, it could be um, on, a, on a fireplace mantle, but they'll have an altar. And so this was my, I'm gonna close the door, hold on. Uh, uh, this was, this is my ode to New Orleans altars. And this right here, this angel, my father bought in New Orleans. And my father's name was Wayne and he has uh, since passed away. So this is the Wangel. We, we love the Wangel. So we're gonna show you the bathroom only because uh, I have a love of vintage smut and people always assume this is Mike's idea. It is not, it is my idea. So I love vintage smut. So over here we've got the bedroom and uh, I just want to point out that I think that this place, because its split level is kind of 70s, so I decided to buy a fern because I'm making it my mission to bring back the fern trend of the 1970s. And by the way, Mike Sear thinks that fern looks like Miss Marple's hair, which should tell you that we watch far too much Agatha Christie in these parts. All right, now we're going downstairs. Uh, Mike is going to go first, and he'll give you a little overview of downstairs, and then I'll point out a few things. Okay, so now, because I love to come down these stairs like Gloria Swanson, I mean, Gloria Swanson, I never miss the opportunity. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Tanelle. So, um, these ceilings are 13 feet high, so it was a pain in the ass to get somebody to put this chandelier up. It was actually rather terrifying. The man was a little bit older than I would like to see somebody on a ladder, but thank God nothing happened. Um, and in fact, we had to buy our own ladder over here. We're doing industrial chic because in order to, you know, put up paintings and, and I don't know, wash stuff, we have to have our own little ladder. I wash stuff. I don't know. Whatever. What am I saying? Uh, anyway, here's the bookcase, and over here, because we're pointing out gifts from people, these voodoo dolls are from Julia Aid. Thank you, Julia. We love you. And over here, our Christmas tree. Um, Sandy Lee, thank you very much for the pink typewriter. And this is, I just love this. This is our little Hawaiian angel. I bought it for myself, but that's okay. Um, here we go, Mike Sear. This is his record player station with the Lord of the record player on top. Um, over here is our sofa, which I will tell you it does pull out into a bed. So you can be my guest, but it's not that comfortable. Don't overstay, you're welcome. That's correct, that is by design. Now, over here, look at this. Mike Sear did this, this rollicking fire with the help of Siobhan's Irish Peat Logs. Thank you, Dan Kristen. Very sweet of you. And above the fire, it says Huva Yoloa, which is Merry Christmas in Finnish. So Huva Yoloa to all of my Finnish family. And over here, we come to my Tiki kitchen. And we can see some of the Christmas cards you have sent me. Thank you. I see your beautiful children, your beautiful dogs. And Mr. Danny Figueroa, your white Volvo, I see you. Um, oh, and my Advent calendar, I get one every year, and this one is about the birth of the baby Jesus, and I'm still waiting on those three wise men. Uh, they, they have not made the scene yet, and I'm, I'm waiting for them. Finally, 
these beautiful stockings were made by Mike's sister, Mary Beth Sear. She's super talented. And as you can see, I am wearing the same little uh, outfit that I'm wearing on the stocking. So that's very cool and very fun. Uh, anyway, uh, I wanted to make this video because a lot of people wanted to see the apartment. And I wish I could have you all over. I really wish I would have a full-on housewarming party if I could. Um, but until that day, this will have to do. And I, I wish you all a very, very happy Christmas and Hanukkah and New Year full of much better things than 2020. And until next time when I can see you in person. And Mike too. He's grumpy, but you know, he still wants to see you. <laughs>